Psalms 20, to the chief musician, a Psalm of David. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble, the name of God of Jacob defend thee. Uh-oh. Trouble in Jacob. Daniel 12, 1, Matthew 24, 21, Jacob's trouble. Guess what this Psalm is about? Again, Old Testament, Jacob, Jab Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, not Eve. Esau, not Ishmael. And God, Jehovah, def defends and protects the children of Israel. They are his people and will always be his people. Send thee help from sanctuary. Talking to God. And strengthen thee out of Zion. That's uh, Jerusalem. That Zion is a picture of the millennium. So we're going to look at this chapter. Where does help come from? David talking to God. David singing about God. Remember all thy offerings. And accept thy burnt sacrifice. Selah. Not talking about money. Talking about the goats. The bullocks. The lambs. Turtle doves. The oil. The bread. The wheat. The barley. Everything they were to bring to the tabernacle. God, remember all the offer. Remember what Israel does. What you said for us to do in the law. God, we do it. And that's the work salvation. The Old Testament, not the New Testament. Selah. Again, that is a musical rest. It also pictures the second advent. And in the tribulation period, the law is back. The temple's there, the sacrifices, and then a three and a half year period, the tribulation period, it's all going to come to the end when the veil is open or whatever to the mercy seat, there's the Antichrist sitting there. And at that point, he's going to start beheading Jews and start drinking their blood, according to the Mass. So, in the tribulation period, there's the temple, there's the sacrifices, there's the offerings. Grant thee according to thy own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. What has been spoken, what has been said. We will rejoice in thy salvation as the Lord Jesus Christ. And in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. And I don't think it's going to be a red, white, and blue with stars and stripes. Banners is a flag. In the Old Testament, when, when God set up the nation of Israel, the 12 tribes, he had banners exclusively for each of the tribes of Israel. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. So Israel, there are flags in the Bible. And it is to recognize who the children of Israel are. And nowhere does the Bible say you're supposed to treat the flag more better than you treat the word of God. You can take a Bible and throw it in a garbage can, but you've got to have a special rights for the flag. You can't just throw a flag away in the garbage. I've seen people take their Bibles and slam it down to the pavement. You, you're not supposed to let that flag touch the ground. I've seen people give more honor to the flag, a, a salute in it, than they do opening the Bible and reading it. And in that case, the flag becomes an idol because you worship that flag more than you worship God in the Bible. And yes, I said it. And you don't like it. That's tough. You can stand at the judgment, either the judgment seat of Christ or the great white throne judgment, and God pronounce you guilty of idolatry. And you remember who said that. Now know I that the Lord saveth his anointed. That means Christ. His anointed, the children of Israel. His anointed, the priests were anointed. His anointed, the king was anointed. He, God, will hear him from his holy heaven. So there is a place of heaven, holiness. With the saving strength of his right hand. And guess who's at the right hand of God? Jesus. The nation of Israel. How is Israel going to be saved out of Jacob's trouble? At the end of the seven year period, there's no sun. 
There's no moon. There's no stars. It's utter darkness. There's no street lights. And then from the north, here comes this light. It's going to get closer and closer. And the Bible says that the heathen are going to throw their idols, maybe their flags, to the holes, to the rocks, and say, cover us of the sins of the idolatry that we have. But let us not see the face of him that's coming upon the horse. The second advent. So when we mount up behind Jesus Christ, according to Job chapter 2, we will leave heaven and follow Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 19, we will come to the earth. We will pick up the Jews for the place where God has prepared for them in hiding against the, the Antichrist. We will pick them up as we did with Rahab and we'll bring them into the promised land as Joshua brought them into the promised land. And Jesus Christ will wipe out their enemies, the goats. And those that help the Jews, the sheep, will be brought into the millennium. And that would be the picture of Rahab. What would be her banner? A scarlet thread. Some trust in chariots, tanks, airplanes. Battleships. And some in horses, jeeps, motorcycles, cars, guns. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Nothing's going to defeat the Antichrist. And I've seen movies they made, you know, computer and all that other nonsense. Nothing's going to beat the, or, uh, Execute the Antichrist, but God the Father and Jesus Christ. Your guns will be worthless, and Israel will trust in Jesus Christ, Lord God Jehovah. That's their that's their knight in shiny armor coming on horse, as all the novels would have you to, to believe. He's coming on a white horse. With a sword. And anybody who defiles Jesus, that fire is going to come out. You're gone. They are brought down and fallen. The enemies of God, the enemies of Jesus, the enemies of the Jews. I will curse them that curse you. But we, the nation of Israel, are risen. And stand upright. That's the valley of the bones that, that Ezekiel speaks about. The resurrected dead bones of the nation of Israel. At the second advent of Jesus Christ, the nation of Israel comes up and they come alive. And they'll stand alive before God forever. Save, Lord. Let the king hear us when we call. Gee, I wonder who that king is. More than David. David's the one writing it. I know it's not a capital K, but what king would be listening to Israel? The King Jesus. So again, we fall into another psalm about Jacob's trouble. We fall into another psalm about the millennium and the reign of Jesus Christ. There are a lot more prophecies that have not been fulfilled yet that will be fulfilled in the future.